So one has to remember that a person who rubs his palms together briskly while standing at a train station or railway station on a cold winter day may not necessarily be doing because he is expecting the train momentarily. More likely he does it because his hands are cold. Rubbing fingers together. Rubbing the thumb against the index finger or fingertips is commonly used as money expectancy gesture. Its symbolism is that of rubbing a coin between the thumb and the fingertips. It is often used by the street vendor who says, I can save you 40% by the person who says to his friend, can you lend me a hundred bucks? This gesture should be avoided at all times by any professional person who deals with clients because it carries negative association about money. Hands clenched together. Think back to a time when you were rarely or really scared, nervous or holding back a strong negative emotion. Chances are that you were clenching your hands for all you were worth and your knuckles were a bright white. The stronger the emotion, the tighter the clench. In addition to the strength of the clench, you can also like or take meaning from where the clenched hands are placed. Studies have indicated that the higher the hands are held in the clenched position, the stronger the negative mood. So if your boss is sitting with uh, elbows resting on her desk and her hands are clenched in front of her face, she is probably going to be difficult to handle. By putting her hands near her mouth, she is indicating that she is holding back what she would like to say. Be careful not to push her too far. She just may unclench those hands and let the words fly which may not please you. When the arms are crossed, they form a barrier to an impeding threat. Arms folded with finger tucked in armpits and thumbs sticking out. This is when subordinate faces his superior whom he considers equal. Arms behind the back is resorted by those who is experiencing an inner conflict. Next stroking signals suspicion. Arms can act as the a doorway to the body and the self. This may range from a light cross to arms folded to arms wrapped around the person. An extreme version which may indicate additional hostility is a tight close with hands formed as fists. If legs are crossed also then this adds to signal. The arm is an interesting appendage with a ball at the top, a hinge in the middle and with a rather complex tool set at the end. Watch also arms for arm held still. This is often the first place the deceiver starts when trying to control body language. They may even hold one arm with the other to keep them both still. Expanding. Arms are clever expanding devices that can make an us bigger or smaller reaching out without having to move the rest of our body. They can extend towards the other person either in threat or a more friendly way. Moved directly and quickly, they threaten. Curved and moving more slowly, they may offer comfort. They can also extend laterally, sometimes as a part of body expanding. I am big display that can signify confidence or perhaps aggression. Shaping. Arms are used as part of shaping as we have or wave them around and carve out the world. They are an adjunct to our words as we literally show other people how big the fish was or how small the child is. When we are excited or confident, we may wave our arms about like windmills. When we are less confident, our shaping is smaller and closer to the body. This waving of arms needs control and a person who bangs their hand on something may indicate clumsiness. Raising the arms lifts something up. Done rapidly, it throws things into the air. With both arms, it exaggerates it further. 
A typical two-arm rising gesture is frustration as everything that is weighing the person down with confusion is thrown up into the air. Coupled with a shrug, it indicates confusion. I don't know. It is also used as a weapon. Arms can be like weapons. They can symbolize clubs and spears as they strike out at imaginary force. They can also be defensive, blocking and sweeping away attacks. Martial arts, arms can be used to block and strike and this is reflected in how they may be used in communication. Crossing, arms cross or arms can act as the doorway to the body and the self. When they are crossed, they form a closed defensive shield. Blocking out the outside world, shields act in two ways. One is to block incoming attacks and the other is a place behind which the person can hide and perhaps not to be noticed. Crossed arms may thus indicate anxiety which is either driven by a lack of trust in the other person or an internal discomfort and sense of vulnerability that may for example be rooted in childhood trauma. The extent of crossing indicates how firmly close the person is. This may range from a light cross to arms folded to arms wrapped around the person. An extreme version which may indicate additional hostility is a tight close with hands formed as fists. If legs are crossed, also then this adds to the signal. The hands in an arm cross may also be used to hold the person in reassuring self-hug. For example, holding upper arms in a folded arm position or wrapped around the torso, holding the sides, if the thumbs are up, this may indicate some approval or agreement with what is being said. Crossed arms, especially when holding one another, can show the person to be trying to keep themselves still. This can be to suppress any signals. It may also indicate repressed anger. I have to hold myself to prevent myself hitting you. In some cultures, it is also signal that the person is holding themselves still so they can pay greater attention to you and is hence a compliment. Crossed arms, especially in a folded position, can just mean the person is feeling comfortable, especially if there is little tension elsewhere in the body. Comfort indicates a lack of fear which may come from being with friends or maybe because they feel sufficiently powerful to handle any attacks as they appear. Folded arms with a little more tension may indicate that the person is feeling judgmental. When arms are not crossed, they expose the torso and the person, making them more vulnerable. This signifies comfort that often indicates trust. It can also be power position that dares the other person to attack while knowing that the other person dare not. Cross downs is a very obvious signal and if you do it in front of other people, they will likely feel rejected and respond accordingly, including not agreeing with you. Note that not all cross arms are defensive. For example, when the person is relaxed as indicated, cross arms are also used when the person is cold. This is typically done with the hands tucked under armpits to keep them warm. A common method salespeople use with their customer in order to break the customer's crossed arms closed position is to give the person something to hold or otherwise ask them to use their hands. Reaching forward. Reaching forward to the other person with the stretch arms can be quite scary for them as you could attack them and a sudden thrust forward can indeed be an aggressive signal, especially if the hand is pointing or shaped as a fist. Reaching forward can also be an offer of support or affection. 
seeking to touch and join with the other person. Next, pulling back. When arms are thrust forward, they are first thing that may be grabbed or attacked. When a person feels defensive, they may pull back their arms out of harm's way. This may even extend to putting them behind the back. When arms are held behind the back, they are hidden front view. This may be because they have hidden intent under concealing what may otherwise be a threatening signal. Arms back exposes the torso which creates vulnerability. This can signal submission. That is, go on, you can't hit me. Or comfort, that is, I know you want to hit me. The reason for comfort can either be because the person is with friends or that they feel sufficiently powerful that they are confident and others will not attack them.